What's up guys, welcome back to another knife steel breakdown today. My name's Evan, I'm here for riversedgecutlery.com and today we're gonna to be talking about CTS XHP. XHP was initially designed by Carpenter in 1994 as a traditionally cast steel and only later became a powder form steel. When it was first introduced, XHP was initially intended for use in industrial applications and then only later found its way into the pocket knife world. During its development, XHP was intended by Carpenter to have the toughness of D2 with the corrosion resistance of 440C and that's how we get CTS XHP. As far as edge retention, XHP has actually excellent edge retention. It slots slightly above something like S30V or S35VN while slightly below steels like L Max and M390. However, this is still completely adequate for most everyday carry tasks and allows you to go a nice long time between sharpenings. As far as toughness, uh, CTS XHP also exhibits moderate toughness. It slots right above something like S30V, slightly below steels like S35, VN, or the M390 analogs. And this is most oftentimes why you see XHP in pocket knives and in light use fixed blades and not heavy use fixed blades, pry bars or other tools that require a lot of horizontal force. As far as corrosion resistance, CTS XHP is completely adequate for most everyday carry tasks. It slots right around the same corrosion resistance as S30V, um, slightly lower than something like M390, but compared to steels that were released previously, such as HCR13 MOV, D2, and the like, um, CTS XHP exhibits much better corrosion resistance. When it comes to ease of sharpening, uh, CTS XHP is much, much easier to sharpen than something like S110V, S90V, CPM M4, um, or even something like LMAX, which makes it a lot more preferable if you're gonna be sharpening out in the field or if you have a sharpening system that doesn't have extremely coarse stones. Um, so that can make CTS XHP an appealing choice when it comes to sharpening. Overall, CTX XHP is an incredibly well-rounded steel, especially for everyday carry applications. While in some categories it could be bested by steels that are kind of specialists in certain categories like S110V or Maximit for edge retention or LC200 in for corrosion resistance, the sum of the CTS XHP's parts make it a really, really good choice for a steel with a lot of pros and very few cons. So I'm going to bring you guys in a little closer and show you some of the blades that we have here on the table exhibiting CTS XHP. While a lot of different brands utilize XHP, Spyderco is one of the most common brands that actually utilizes that steel in some of their models. This is the lightweight version of the Chaparral in gray FRN. This here is the uh, unobtainable Cutlery Shop CTS XHP Shaman. Shout out Cutlery Shop. And then finally we have the new Bird's Eye Maple Chaparral, also exhibiting CTS XHP. I think all of these models exemplify a, a correct usage of this steel. Alrighty guys, this has been Evan for RiversEdgeCutlery.com. Thanks for joining us for another knife steel breakdown. If you have any more questions, you can find us on our website, uh, Instagram, Facebook, all at Rivers Edge Cutlery. And I'll talk to you guys soon. Thanks.